Hello everyone, my name is Chris Lott and I'm a Senior Solutions Architect for AWS. Today, I'm going to introduce you to the Q&A Bot solution, demo some of its features, and talk about how you can get started making your own question and answer chatbots. Q&A Bot is an open source project that was started in 2017 by a team in AWS Professional Services. Q&A Bot provides a multi-channel interface, for example, voice, web, SMS, and others, to a question and answer chatbot. The solution is built with AWS services such as Amazon Lex, Amazon Elasticsearch service, and Amazon Kendra, so users can simply ask their questions in a natural way and get answers regardless of the channel. Learn more on our blog at amazon.com forward slash Q&A bot, and also take a look at our GitHub repository in the link below. Let's take a look at the architecture. Here's an architecture diagram of the resources deployed with the Q&A Bot CloudFormation template. At the heart of the Q&A Bot solution are two AWS Lambda functions for the content designer and bot fulfillment. These Lambda functions bridge the channel services on the left, such as Amazon Connect, Amazon Poly, and Amazon Lex, with data sources on the right, such as Amazon Elasticsearch Service for questions and answers. The Bot Fulfillment Lambda also optionally integrates with AWS's artificial intelligence services, such as Amazon Kendra, which allows you to intelligently search documents, frequently asked questions, and websites with natural language. Finally, Q&A Bot also deploys a content designer, which is the question and answer front end user interface, and also a Kibana dashboard to review metrics and other reports. Today's demo will showcase some of the features of Q&A Bot. All of what you're about to see, I was able to put together in just a few hours. And this is only a subset of Q&A Bot's many features. OK, let's get started. Here we see the fictitious State of Octanks Motor Vehicle Division website. Q&A Bot is embedded using the open source project LexWeb UI, and it's also deployed with a CloudFormation template. We'll start with a menu of services. This provides users a list of choices so they can begin communicating with the bot quickly. Let's select Driver's License Renewal. Responses from Q&A Bot can be formatted with Markdown. This allows us to add rich text functionality and hyperlinks. Q&A Bot uses natural language processing. This means we can rephrase the question in different ways and get the same answer. For example, I need to renew my license. Q&A Bot understands the question and provides the same answer as before. Q&A Bot uses Amazon Translate to support up to 71 different languages and variants. Let's type Renew License in Spanish. As you can see, Q&A Bot detected that we've switched to Spanish and auto-translated the question and answer. Let's see that again, but this time in Japanese. Notice that the word MVD is not translated into Japanese. This is because Q&A Bot supports custom terminology. These may be terms that have special translations or no translations, such as company names or trademarks. Let's go back to English. Q&A Bot supports multimedia functionality. For example, if I ask, what is a Q&A Bot? The answer is an embedded YouTube video using iframes. I've configured this Q&A bot to search Amazon Kendra if we do not have an answer to a question, and I've uploaded a state driver handbook PDF to Amazon Kendra. Let's see what happens if we ask, what is a graduated license? Because Q&A bot does not have a specific question and answer configured for graduated licenses, Q&A bot will fall back to asking Amazon Kendra. What is sent back to the user is Kendra's response. Now let's see how we can use Q&A Bot's web channel to interface with the Amazon Connect Live Agent. In a separate window, I have an agent logged into the Amazon Connect Contact Control Panel, where agents can receive phone and text messages. From Q&A Bot, I can simply type Live Chat or click the menu option in the upper left of Q&A Bot's window. Q&A Bot will then elicit my name and then connect me with an agent.
Let's say that the customer would rather speak verbally to an agent. We can utilize Amazon Connect's callback capability by eliciting some information, such as a name and phone number from the user, and then send these on to Amazon Connect to have Amazon Connect call the user directly. Let's see that in action. Hi, Chris. Thank you for calling our tank motor vehicle division. You wanted us to call you to speak with one of our agents. Please hold while I locate an agent. We'll just be a moment. Thank you for calling. Your call is very important to us and will be answered in the order it was received. Now let's look at how we can communicate with the same Q&A bot over a different channel, this time with SMS. Here I have my phone's text messaging window. Because we are using the same bot, but through the SMS channel instead, we can ask it the same questions and get the same answers without configuring another bot. For example, let's look at Renew License. As you can see, Q&A bot responds with the same answer as it did on the web channel. Q&A Bot supports integration with Amazon Echo devices so that users can communicate, again with voice, to the same Q&A Bot as the web and SMS channels. Let's take a look at that now. Alexa, open Octank MVD. Hello, please ask a question. What is a permit at home test? Teenage drivers who need to take the written driver test to get an instruction permit can now take that test online with appropriate supervision via permit test at home. Once the team has passed, they can schedule their appointment online under their own MVD account. Now let's take a look at the Q&A Bot Content Designer. This is the Q&A Bot Content Designer. It makes it very easy to add questions and answers. Let's do one now. Select Add. And let's start with the document ID. This is just a unique identifier for this item. Now we'll add a question. These are one or more items that a user might ask. For example, hello. And here we provide the answer. Finally, let's hit create. The Q&A Bot Content Designer has its own Q&A Bot client built in. We can use this to quickly test questions and answers. Now let's take a look at the Q&A Bot Kibana dashboard. This is the Kibana dashboard that comes with Q&A Bot. You can use this dashboard to take a look at the utilization of your bot as well as fine tune your bot over time. Let's take a look at some of the options that it provides you. First, you can look at the number of requests that your bot has. You can also see the sentiment analysis of each request. We can look at the answer source. We can also take a look at client types. These are the channels used to communicate to the bot with. Here we can see the logged utterance word cloud. These are phrases that users communicated to with the bot. The larger the phrase, the more frequently it is asked of the bot. On the upper right, we can see no hits. These are phrases that were asked of the bot, but there were no answers that were available. Finally, we have both the positive and negative feedback sections. The positive feedback are phrases that users thumbs up. This means that it answered their question. The negative feedback is when users thumbs down. This is very powerful because this means that the answer to that particular question, even though it did provide an answer, was not accurate or not helpful. You can use the no hits and thumb down section to finesse your bot over time and fine tune it to provide accurate, reliable answers to your users. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the Q&A bot solution.
To learn more about how you can quickly deploy your own Q&A bot, visit us at amazon.com forward slash Q&A bot.